Is this the dagger? Oh! Welcome back to Wave of Docker. It's NBA Friday, a series that I will stick to all throughout the NBA season. And this first episode is my NBA awards predictions. And you know what? I'll do I'll do champion pick, I guess, as well. I was gonna do standings. I remember last year I did a podcast where I did my NBA standings, but that didn't really get that much traction. So I think just doing a YouTube series with NBA stuff would be great. So I'm gonna do MVP, Rookie of the Year, Sixth Man of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, Coach of the Year, NBA Champion. Maybe I'll do my finals pick as well. Um, yeah, I think that's all. I did this last year, and my picks were Luca for MVP, Chet for Rookie of the Year, Schroeder for Most Improved Player. I didn't do Sixth Man of the Year, which was a lapse in judgment on my part. I uh, did Coach of the Year, Jamal Mosley. Um, I, th I think that's all I did. I did Defensive Player of the Year, which was AD. And I'm a spoiler, two of these picks are going to repeat themselves because, honestly, I may have just been one year ahead. So let's just go into it. Like and subscribe. MVP pick, Luka Doncic. Same as it was last year. Um, I mean, I went into last year. I'm, I'm of the opinion that he's the best player in basketball. You could argue Jokic. I mean, they're obviously, I think they're pretty interchangeably um, one and two in the league, depending on who you ask. Uh, Jokic obviously winning three of the last four and I think it's pretty fair to say that voter fatigue is going to play a part in this I'd be very surprised if he wins his fourth this year uh, even if he has a wonderful season I think that's just kind of the nature of the award is that that's how it is with LeBron you could argue LeBron should have you know six or seven MVPs but you know he won four in five years and then they're like ah sorry no more but with Luka Coming off a finals run where he got, you know, oh so close, you know, losing in five, obviously, but having a magical run from like the five seed, um, having, you know, one of the best years of his career, 73 points with Kyrie as his running mate. And, you know, his production hasn't really slowed down. If anything, he's gotten more efficient. Um, and his, his biggest issue is just um, the fatigue and his defensive liability. But I think, you know, over the offseason, you saw him slim down a little bit. I'm sure, obviously, all NBA players work on their defense, but I think it's it had to have been much more of an emphasis with him just because, you know, he's one of the best offensive players of all time, honestly. Uh, you know, he, he's really great around the rim, great shooter, good handle, one of the best passers in the league. I think he's just such a offensive dynamo. Um, from the guard position, small forward position. I mean, he's just like a, a smaller Jokic with like a worse passer and worse rebounder, I'd say. But a better, I think, overall scorer. Scorer. You know, they're, they're, they're doing two different... They're, they're being asked to do two different things, but their efficiency and production is very similar. So that's why Luka's my pick for MVP. Coming off that finals run, kind of revenge mode Luka, I wouldn't be surprised if we see him average like 38-8 and eight with a steal per game on like... 50, 37, 85 shooting this year. Like, I feel like that's a very realistic thing for Luka. I'm a Luka Glazer. I mean, as you can kind of tell, I just think he's just such a fun player to watch. Um, while, you know, he is a, a complainer to the refs, a lot of NBA players are like that. He, I guess he just kind of, since he's so good, you kind of scrutinize it a lot more. Same thing with LeBron. You know, people get on his case for complaining, but everybody complained to the refs. MJ did it. Luka's my MVP pick. Uh, rookie of the year. Um, a lot of people are picking, you know, Zach Eady in Memphis, Reed Shepard in Houston. Reed Shepard has looked at as, you know, one of the steals of the draft. Um, you know, young point guard out of, out of Kentucky on a team that is run by young players like Jalen Green and uh, um, Jabari Walker. No, that's not right. No, yes, it is. No, it's not. Wait, yes, it is. Jabari Walker. Uh, am I Am I tweaking? Fred Van Vliet, Tari Eason, uh, Alperen Sengun, you know, it's a young team. And, uh, you know, people are picking him to come in there and have a big impact. Zach Eady, you know, uh, four-year college pro or college player, uh, two-time Naismith coming off that uh, championship loss to UConn, uh, going into a team that, you know, they have Steven Adams, I think, still, and Jerry Jackson Jr. And, um, you know, seeing him in preseason, he, you know, he's good with his feet. He's a very gentle big but you know he's a big guy seven five crazy crazy height but i think i'm gonna go i'm gonna dark horse it a little bit i'm gonna go alex Saar out of washington um rookie of the year is really only based in production 
um, last year. It was Wemby, obviously. Um, you know, just putting up ridiculous stat lines, and there really wasn't an argument for Chet. Anybody else? Like I, th- I think he was honestly close to unanimous, if I remember correctly. Uh, Rookie of the Year is a different award to MVP, to Defensive Player of the Year, to Sixth Man of the Year. It's really just looking looking at, okay, what are your counting stats? Like, who is the best player as opposed to who is the most valuable, who is, you know? Because Defensive Player of the Year just gets all analytical and everything, but Rookie of the Year is based purely on stat sheet and stat line. So I'm going to go Alex Saar. Wizards are a team that are really playing for nothing. They can honestly go 12 and 70, and that'd probably be one or two wins more than they were expecting. Um, you know, you got Jordan Poole, Kuzma, Marvin Bagley. Like, it's just a team full of uh, people on their second or third team just kind of, I don't want to say washed up because they're all young, but they're teams that kind of had their time in the sun and were discarded, and Alex Hart is coming in there fresh. I think he's going to have a good season, so he's my rookie of the year pick. Um, Sixth man of the year, Malik Monk, my guy. Go Kings, like the beam. Last year, he won it. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he repeats. So honestly, I think he's going to be my pick. Just, um, you know, because six man of the year, there isn't really a lot of voter fatigue in there. I think then like Lou Williams and Jamal Crawford win it a bunch. I don't know. But I think he's going to win it again because uh, he's going to be coming off the bench most likely. It's probably going to be Fox, Ellis, Murray, DeRozan, Sabonis, and it will be Malik Monk off the bench. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Nas Reed win it um, off the bench because, I mean, he's like a 25, 30-minute guy for that for that team. And, yeah, he's still probably going to be coming off the bench, even even though they trade Cat. But I wouldn't be surprised if they start him. And for that reason, I think Malik Monk is going to win Rookie of the Year just because he's going to have guaranteed more games coming off the bench than starting. Because Nas I think, got a lot more starting nods towards the end of the year, and that's kind of what secured the award for Monk last season. Um, Defensive Player of the Year, I think I have to go Wemby. Um, you know, Bam is a great defensive player. Rudy Gobert, great defensive player, you know, blah, 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 blah. But Wemby, I think he got second in it last year. Um, you know what he's able to do? Like, he's one of the guys who I can honestly see him having a, um, a five by five. I think he did have a five by five last year. You know, he's a very reasonable pick for like a a quadruple double this year. You know, what he's able to do? One of the best shot blockers in the game. He's just intimidating. Like, you, you you saw that clip. I forget who they were playing last year. But, you know, it was a fast break, 2v1. This guy, you know, had a lane to the buck, to, to the basket, but Wemby was there. Like, a goddamn, you know, looming over him like it's a, like he's a street pole. And, you know, he, he reversed and passed it away. So I think just his defensive impact and... I mean, there got to be a stat for... Um, like, obviously, there's shot blocking, there's steals, there's, you know, you're able to calculate health defense and everything like that. But there has to be a stat for um, just um, neglecting not to score just because you see Wemby. I feel like that's his impact on the court. So I'm going to go Wemby for Defensive Player of the Year. Coach of the Year, last year I picked Jamal Mosley. And I want to pick Jamal Mosley this year. Last year, I think it was... um, I think I looked it up. Who won Coach of the Year? I think I looked it up last year. I think it was Bickerstaff. Maybe I'm making that up. Um, Let's see. 2023 NBA... Coach of the Year. Mike, no, Mike Brown was the other one. 2024 NBA Coach of the Year. Mark Dad, yeah, Mark Dad, no, uh, for OKC, obviously. I knew that. I remember that when I was thinking of this video last week. I remember that. Mark Dad, no, for the Oklahoma, Oklahoma City Thunder, you know, going from, they were like 30 wins to 57 wins first in the conference. That's obvious. That makes sense to me. I don't think he's going to win it, win it again. I think OKC, okay, you're going into this season expecting them to be the best team in the West. You know, if not that or like the second seed. So, I mean, my pick last year was Jamal Mosley. And I was surprised, honestly, like the the leap that the Thunder made is more significant than the leap that the Magic made. But I think this year they're going to have a similar record. And if they can improve by, because they won, they won 47 games last year, which is probably overachieving for that roster, you know, young roster. Paolo, uh, Franz Wagner, they get KCP this year. Um, Cole Anthony, you know, all those young dudes, um, Gary Harris. And I think if they are to improve or stay at 47 wins, like can, like overachieve and continue to achieve at that level, I think that he's going to be my pick for coach of the year. But if not Jamal Mosley, um, I see people uh, picking Coach Bud. But honestly, like the Suns last year underachieved for what they had. And I think even if they improve, I don't think that's due to Coach Bud. I think that's just kind of due to the fact that they have, you know, three of the top 30 talents in the league with Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, and Bradley Beal. 
So I don't think Coach Bud is a really a reasonable pick. Um, yeah, I'm going to go Jamal Mosley again. I know it's kind of boring, but this is a new series, new season, new mindset. Jamal Mosley's my pick for Coach of the Year for the Atlanta Magic. Uh, what was I going to say? Most improved player. Um, the most improved player award is the one that's most skewed by the media and just kind of the, the perception of it because last year Tyrese Maxey won it, but we all knew who's going to break out. John Morant won it for crying out loud a few seasons ago. It's kind of looked at as a award or it's just like, like these players are lottery picks, you know, they're top picks and they're given the keys to this team. Most improved players should be reserved for third or fourth options that take a big leap in production. Um, my homer, you know, Sacramento Kings fan pick is Keegan Murray. Um, I just think, like, honestly, he had a tremendous season last year from his rookie year. Um, you know, he's, I think he's honestly one of the best 3 and D guys in the league. And I think his production's going to take a step back with DeMar, so honestly, he's probably not my pick. But if I had to pick a most improved player for the 2024-2025 season, like, the, the people's pick is Jalen Williams. Um... J Dub for the Thunder. Um, but he already broke out. Like he averaged like what, like 18, 7, and 7 last year, something crazy. Like he's looked at as a player who can do everything well. So I mean, honestly, I think he's probably the safe pick. But you know what? Safe pick, Jalen Williams for the Thunder. Homer, optimistic. I hope so, but no way. Pick is Keegan Murray. I think he's gonna improve tremendously. He's already one of the best, you know, on ball defenders in the league. Um, he took such a great leap last year. You know, he had that game where he had, like, 12 threes or something crazy. Uh, Jalen Williams, Keegan Murray pick. And as for my NBA champion pick, I'm going to go... I mean, is it boring to just say the Celtics again? Um, you know, to not be boring, I'm going to go... Knicks... Over... You know what, no. Thunder over Knicks. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, but it'll probably end up being something boring like Celtics Nuggets, if we're being honest. But whatever. Knicks, Thunder, Thunder over Knicks. That's my pick. Those are my picks. Luka MVP. Alex Saar, Rookie of the Year. Malik Monk, Sixth Man of the Year. Wemby, Defensive Player of the Year. Jamal Mosley, Coach of the Year. Jalen Williams slash Keegan Murray, Most Improved Player of the Year. Those are my picks. Let me know what your picks are in the comment section below. This has been NBA Friday. See you guys. In the next one, peace out.